everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do the uh, cupping and covering technique that I watched uh, Lamb from Heartfelt Artistry uh, do. If you ever get a chance, check out Lamb, L-A-M, from Heartfelt Artistry. Um, she does beautiful uh, cupping and covering technique. So let's go over my paints. Um, my base coat is a very thin layer of the uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl. And the balance of my colors are the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. I'm using a lot of Amsterdam today. I have the Turquoise Blue. And the Titan Yellow, very light yellow color. Haynes Gray. Violet. I am throwing in an Arteza Phalo Green, and I just added a little bit of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White to that. I lightened it up just a little bit. The last one is the Folk Art Treasure Gold. Now my pouring medium is a little bit different today. I used Lamb's uh, pouring medium for this and it's 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. I mixed that up. I added about an ounce of the pouring medium to about a half an ounce of paint and then I thinned it with water. No silicone is added today. Now I've gone ahead and I've already um, poured my paints in my cup. And as you can see, I took care to really layer, not from the side, but from the center. I layered every color. And what I'm going to do is just a dirty pour. And I'm going to start with the big cup. And I'm just going to be going right down the center here. And I'll have plenty of paint. I'm not even sure I'll need that, that second cup. But it is there, if need be. And I am coming back up the middle here because I do want more than just this white up here. Very pretty green coming out here. And I will use the second cup on the edges here. And I will go down the middle with it. You can see some of that ruby coming out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a top coat and I'm going to do it in yellow. That Titan Yellow from Amsterdam. And I will put some of the yellow down just to let the paint flow over on the sides also, since I do have extra here. Of 
okay. This pouring medium is a little bit thicker, and I think that is so you can do the cupping technique, which I will show you in a moment. And I think I will torch now. Bring up some of these air bubbles. Now I will do some of the tilting. As you can see, the paint is running very slow. It is a thick paint. Just trying to get it down over this last edge here. You can you always use your finger to help it out a little bit. Put a little paint on there and it will help it run. Okay, just gonna take a look at it now. And I will torch it again. See, a lot of the ruby came up, which is very nice. Okay, give it a torch. Okay, and now I will start with that cupping technique and I may be doing some balloon rolls and balloon kisses on this also. I'm going to take my little cup that I used with my yellow paint and just, just kind of drag it through here or put it down and then twist it. really no rules to this type of painting. Just whatever you feel would look good. And I'm going to clean my the lip of my cup off here. You try to keep it so your paint does not mix so much that it gets muddy looking. And if you do get down to the canvas, it's not too much to worry about because the paint is thick enough that it will fill back in. Or if it doesn't, you can always do a balloon kiss or a balloon roll over that area to cover it back in. As you can see, I'm still just bringing up some of those colors from underneath there.
just a couple more of these little rolls and then I'll start with some balloon kisses. Drag some of this blue down into the yellow here. Okay, pretty happy with that. Now let's see if I can do some balloon kisses. Sometimes you have to let your painting sit for 15, 20 minutes or even up to a half an hour to get the paint thick enough so it doesn't just um, move back in on itself when you do the balloon kisses. Just checking my corners here. Okay, let's try a balloon kiss, see what we get. Okay, that's not too bad. It's actually looking pretty good. And I am wiping my balloon off after every balloon kiss that I do. This one is very pretty. What you can do too, and what I've seen Lamb do, is she just takes her, her little finger and she just drags it through the paint to make a stem. Which is something that you could try. Very pretty down in here with the gold coming through. Sometimes I like to make like a cluster of flowers. Very pretty. I like it where that light yellow came through. And I can try to do a balloon roll here. And I'm using a glove and I'm sticking my thumb in the glove. And um, I learned this from um, Heather Mater from Heather Mater Art. I think you just have a lot more control over it than a regular balloon. So that is a balloon roll. Let's see if I could do a few more here. Do some little ones. some different techniques that you can learn. Be one more. And then I'm going to do a few more balloon kisses. And this is a water filled balloon, by the way. I like the weight of the water on the balloon or in the balloon to, uh, it helps the balloon sink down into the painting a little more when I do that balloon kiss. 
You can also do um, balloon rolls with your littler balloon. Just work with it until you're really happy with the results. If you need to carry a little paint over here and there, that's fine. Really liking the results of this painting. Very pretty. Just a few more balloon kisses and I think I'll be done. Let me get you down for a close up. Okay, let's get you down for a close. I'll do another torch here. Covering up a little area here. Take some paint from another area and bring it over here. That's better. Okay, let's get you down for a close up. I can tell you the spots I really like. Okay, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper right hand, I'm sorry, upper left hand corner. So very pretty balloon kisses in that area. Balloon rolls, very pretty in there. A lot of really nice areas in this painting. I'll take you over. There's another nice area in up the middle. Very colorful. There's a lot going on. Here's some of the balloon rolls that I did. This is the upper right hand corner. A couple of more balloon rolls there. Some more ki balloon kisses. This is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.